Hello friends, very good morning to all of you. So we have completed the ping filter installation on admin as well as on engine node and we have done the configuration also and as you as you have seen that ping filter is basically running like on admin as well as on engine node. So yeah, that's completed and now we are shifting to PF12 that is uh, uh, installation of open DJ directory server, right? So we, in this video, we are just basically going to install that directory server on our ping fit admin node that is on Windows machine and then on the PF13 we can just do the configuration and when this is done then we can quickly jump to the data store section in PF14 right that means basically we are just trying to make a connection between ping federate uh, to that uh, directory server right so that you can just we can just see that how we can uh, bring the user information from that directory to ping federate uh, during authentication or maybe in, in, in other cases also right so we, we can see those things so yeah let's begin okay so let's jump to the admin node so now i basically just uh, went to this uh, website okay open identity platform dot org slash open dg i'll just put in the comment uh, sorry description from here you can just download the uh, like latest release and the installation guide also right so here uh, we have in the github like uh, 4.6.4 okay this is the version so you can just download the msi jif this uh, whatever uh, how you want to install right so i'm going to install with the jif file so i just uh, downloaded this open dj 464.jip okay so let's go to downloads i'll put this uh, in the uh, description okay so just uh, extract this and then we can quickly install it okay just, yeah. let's see Okay, so I think extraction is done. Okay, so we have the open DJ 464 and under open DJ we have all the files. Okay, so I'll do one thing like I'll just uh, go to downloads. I'll just put copy this. Sorry, I'll copy this or I'll cut this. Okay, and I'll keep this in our C drive. Okay, and now. okay so now after this like uh, what we can do like let's go to cmd and open this cmd on administrator run this as administrator okay and just uh, bring the path so just go to open dj64 click on open dj and bring this path okay control c cmd okay so we are in the open dg now just put dir and you can able to see there is a file called setup.bat right so just let's put this click on enter yeah it will just uh, okay what happened here is okay it's opening something in open dj community edition okay so the open dj quick setup tool will ask you for some basic server and data configuration and uh, settings and will get your server up and running quickly okay that's fine uh, okay let's go next so the fully qualified host name okay so yeah okay leave this okay and no need to change headlap listener port default let's 389 administration uh, connector port 4444 4, 4, 4. adlab secure access that's fine leave it disabled root user dn will be cn equal to directory manager okay let's go to password section let me put it password just remember this password okay this is going to be helpful okay so now go next enter port to listen for and dive and all okay choose the data replication option this will be a standalone server the server will be part of replication topology okay i think uh, uh, what 
is this it is a replication part or replication port i think yeah we are not going to use as a replication okay so yeah this put is that this will be a standalone server next backend type let's choose as a je backend where basically how you're going to store this okay directory a uh, base tn will be dc is equal to example dc is equal to com okay leave this no need to change here uh, this is just for our learning right so maybe if you want you can just put like instead of example just put like yeah dc is equal to think for direct learning okay and dc is equal to com okay directory data so yeah uh, leave database empty only create base okay let's go with this only create base entry go for next just remember this okay this is going to be used specify the runtime option that the jvm will use to run the server and the import tool so server and AI default okay just use the default just uh, read this as a summary okay so fully qualified host name you have LDAP listener port 389 administration connector port okay LDAP secure access disabled as we are just uh, uh, we are not putting as enabling this because yeah we are just uh, using for the using this for learning okay not like we are going to use for any for industry this right in industry people used to go for LDAPs right that's run on 636 port and that's an encrypted traffic right that your data is secure right it's encrypted whereas in LDAP it's just unencrypted okay so that's why people are not uh, preferring 389 they are preferring LDAPs that is 636 port there it's basically communicating and it's a secure communication okay directory data runtime options use default uh, run the server as a windows service uh, start server in the configuration uh, we can choose this as a windows service and click on finish it says configuring directory server just to wait it says configuring directory server done creating base entry yeah once it is done then we can uh, quickly jump to the next uh, uh, section for the uh, configuration part okay so it says that configuring directory server done creating base entry done eliminating windows service as well server okay enable to run as a windows service is done starting directory server okay so basically trying to start our directory server so once it is done completed then yeah we are good i think with the installation and then we can jump to the configuration on the next section yeah so let's see okay so what it says open dj server is now installed in c drive open dj this one server is started visit the open dj admission guide for an overview of server management and configuration uh, okay to see server configuration status and to perform some basic administration tasks on the server uh, click launch control panel uh, okay note that you can launch this tool later using the control panel dot pat also yeah so we can use this also right uh, i'll show you how you, from cmd also you can launch this so yeah we are not going to launch here right now just just basically we need to do some configuration that's why it's asking for us to do that will that we can do in the next section that is on pf13 right so it looks it's completed and it's configured okay so let's close this and yeah let's uh, jump to the next section okay thank you